Today on CF Blue, we're going to be building the Southern Pacific AC-12 class. And this is a quite a famous looking locomotive. It's a cab forward steam locomotive built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works. And that was during World War II. And only one of this class exists today. Southern Pacific 4294 and is on display at the California State Railroad Museum. Uh, so this locomotive is pretty much like a steam locomotive, but they like reverse the side of this. So I guess like the smoke box is in the back and the cab is in the front. And this build is actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's a 4882 articulated steam locomotive. It runs on fuel oil, so you don't have coal here. You just have fuel, oil, and water in the tender. And that's what it looks like. So it's actually a commission by Trainmaster3985. He commissioned a lot of these big giant steam locomotives in the past. And uh, this is actually uh, made for his birthday, which was a month ago, so happy birthday to him. And uh, yeah, also one last thing, I'm changing the channel name from Crafty Fox Blue to just CF Blue, just to differentiate it from Crafty Fox. So just search out CF Blue if you want to see videos from this channel. The name's a lot shorter too. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so first off, I'm going to grab some materials. We'll take out black concrete, nether brick stairs, and slab. Uh, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, cut sandstone slab, uh, polished blackstone brick slab, and let's say a uh, stone button. Alright, so first we'll take out another brick stairs. We'll place that in the middle of the tracks. And then behind it we'll add in a black concrete. Top of the stairs we'll add in that polished blackstone brick slab. Then behind this we'll add in another brick slab. And I'm going to make it 33 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And once we're at the back, we'll add in uh, another brick stairs upside down above the last one. And behind it, we'll add in a black concrete. And then on top of this, we'll make a back-to-back -back nether brick stairs facing each other. Like this. Then we'll add in, um, let's go actually go back all the way in the front. Add in a black concrete up right above this first slab. And then smooth quartz block around that. Alright, I mean on top of that. And then a smooth quartz slab in front of this. Then on top of that, we'll add in a poly, actually just the regular diorite slab right there. Cut sandstone slab on top. Black concrete behind this. Then two blocks tall, black concrete. Stone bun at the bottom of this. Another brick stairs. And then at the top, we'll add in black concrete. And we're gonna make it 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then next we'll go up over right here, skip a block, add in a dark oak trap door. Then we'll add in five nether brick slabs, so one, two, three, four, five, skip a block, add two nether brick slabs. Alright, once we're done with that, we'll add in some more black concrete, add in two blocks tall here, add another two blocks tall diagonally down, and then we'll add in another two underneath that. Then over here, we'll add in two blocks wide, black concrete, like a three block saw as well, goes down. And then we'll add in black concrete, a column that goes all the way to the top. All right, next we'll go to the back and we'll add in uh, black concrete. And this is going to go pretty much all the way across the bottom of this. that then we'll go to the back and we'll add in this nether brick wall two blocks long and then the middle on top we'll add in um, a nether brick slab it's gonna be an upper slab and then another slab above it so it's like a block then we'll add in two nether brick slabs and then skip two blocks add another brick slab and then we'll skip block another brick slab and we're just going to make that two blocks long. 
And let me make sure this is going to be another brick stairs facing the back here. And then another brick stairs are going to be back to back. Then we'll add in two nether brick walls here. And then another brick stairs, two of them facing the front. And then another brick wall. And then another brick stairs, two of them facing the back. And then another brick slab. Then the rest of this is going to be black concrete to the front. And then in this section, there's going to be another brick wall over here and over here. And another brick fence right here in the back. Next, we're going to make this smoke box. So that's going to be polish and a site block right over here. And six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, eight, six. Go over here and make it four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. I'll make the top part six blocks long as well. All right, next we'll add in um, polish and a site slab right at the edge here and then two daylight detectors. And we're gonna add in a lever right there. I'm gonna make these daylight detectors blue. Then over here, we'll add in two of these um, dark oak fence gates and the top one's gonna be opened up all right, next up over here, we'll add in uh, another brick slab over here, and then a dark oak trap door at the bottom, and a dark oak fence gate underneath the black concrete. And it's going to face towards the back. All right, then um, next on top, we'll add in black carpet all the way across this top section. All right, next up, we'll add in um, black concrete and it's gonna go all the way across the top section. Like that. And once we have done that, we can add in uh, black concrete all the way across this bottom section. Then we'll go up over here, <clears throat> skip a block of black and add in two nether brick slabs. Then we're going to skip four blocks and add in another nether brick slab. Skip a block, add another nether brick slab. All right, that should be the middle. All right, so next up, we'll take out a polish and a site stairs. Go right to the smoke box, and I'm going to add that stairs to the sides at the top and then upside down at the bottom. And then the middle, uh, we can fill that in with polish and a site blocks. And next up, we'll add in uh, another brick stairs here, and then two black concretes, and then go over here to this one, add black concretes, two of them, and then three nether brick stairs in the front, then nether brick stairs all the way across the rest of this in between. And over here, we'll add in um, nether brick stairs, going to be cornered at this edge, and black concrete behind it all the way. And then dark oak trap doors, four blocks like that. And then we'll go in the front here. Let's add in um, this gray. We'll take out gray glass pane and block and a daylight detector. So first off, we'll add the daylight detector to this corner here. I'm going to make it blue. And then we'll add in the light, actually just gray glass pane and then gray glass behind it and then to the side we'll add another gray glass and then daylight detector make it blue like that all right and then in front of that daylight detector we'll make this dark oak sign right there next we'll add in black concrete underneath these glass make an l shape here and down over here we'll add in two more smooth quartz um dear right slab to the side of this and then smooth quartz slab underneath and underneath this part then for the plow here we'll add in a black con actually that's already there we'll add in another brick stairs right there and another one upside down to the side and then we'll add in these chain blocks two of them goes diagonal like that and then right to the side here, we'll add in three blocks tall of these dark oak 
fence gates like that. And then at this edge here, we'll add in another brick stairs facing the front over here. And then we'll add it to the side of these black concretes. Cross like that. Then we'll add in upside down right over here. And then we'll add in two blocks tall black concrete. And then a daylight detector and make it blue. Great glass block underneath that and then two blocks tall black concrete. Underneath here we'll add in um, smooth quartz slab in the middle. And then a nether brick slab on either side of that. And inside here we'll fill that in with uh, black concrete. So it's all covered up like that. Then in the front we'll add in a stone button, birch button, black stone button. So we'll add in black stone button on the edge, stone button here, side, and a birch button down below. And next up we'll add in the wheels. So let's take out a gray concrete. And then another brick slab. So go right over here to the back of this. And we'll skip this slab here, add in gray concrete, and then three nether brick slabs, gray concrete. And then we're going to make the wheel. The driving wheel is going to be a 2x2 two two of these nether brick stairs. So we're going to have four pairs of that, and they're going to have a block of space in between each of them. It's going to be a second one. And then the third one here. Then the fourth one, like that. All right, then in between, we'll add in another brick fence gate in between at the bottom of these. And then another brick wall above it for all of them, like that. All right, then right over here, there is a cylinder or a piston. I think it's called a cylinder. And that is going to be uh, black concrete right to the side of this and another brick slabs underneath it. And then we'll add another two black concretes in front of that and then two dark oak fence gates underneath that. And on top is going to be two nether brick slabs like so. And then on the inside of this is going to be a nether brick fence. So uh, two blocks like that. And then we'll add in the other pairs of these wheels. So make that two by two of these uh, nether brick stairs. And we want to make another four wheels with a gap in between each of them. So this is the most tedious part, just making the wheels. <laughs> I do not really like doing this by hand. I got three wheels and then another wheel. There's a lot of wheels in this. And the gaps in between, we'll add in nether brick walls and then a dark oak fence gate in between that. All right, so it should look like this. And then we'll add in a two by two black concrete and then nether brick slabs underneath in the middle here. And then it ends in. Um, that gray concrete right there. All right. And then um, after we do that, we'll add in two dark oak fence gates at the bottom of this, and then two nether brick slabs on top of this. And to the side, there's going to be a hopper and place that to the side of the wheel, and add a dark oak sign to the side of that. All righty. And then in front of each of these uh, cylinders, we'll add in this black stone button and we'll do the same thing with the other one, like that. All right, all right, so next up we'll add in, um, let's see, yeah, we might as well add in the, I don't know what to call the axle box design in the front, so we'll add in these hopper sides of these gray concretes. And in between, we'll add in these nether brick uh, stairs at the sides facing each other, and then nether brick slab at the bottom, like that. All right, so next we're gonna make the side coupling rods. So first off, let's make the one in the back here. We'll add in 
a birch fence gate upside down, polished diorite stairs, another brick fence with another brick slab underneath. Bottom here we'll add iron trap door and then a birch fence gate and another birch fence gate after this. Then on top we'll add in polished diorite stairs and then two slabs and then four iron trap doors. Alright, then we'll go on to the other one, do the same thing. So birch fence gate, upside down, polish, and yeah, DIY right stairs, another brick fence with another brick slab underneath. And then iron trap door underneath here, and then birch fence gates either side of the slab. Then on top we'll add in polished diorite right stairs and then two slabs. And then four iron trap doors like that. All right, now we're gonna make the difference. So the one in the back, that's gonna have two iron trap doors and then a polished direct slab and then three iron trap doors. While the one in the front, that's gonna have uh, three iron trap doors and then polished direct right, uh, slab there and then two iron trap doors like that. So just the slab just moved a uh, different place. Alright, so that is it for the side rods, and we're also going to add in these dark oak signs to the sides of these hoppers like that. Very good. Alright, so next we'll take out another brick slab. Go behind this smooth quartz. Add three blocks long of another brick slabs like this. And then we'll add in two polished um, blackstone brick slabs like that. And then go diagonally down and we're going to add in four. Alright, then we'll add the bottom row dark oak fence gates all the way across. And then at the top of this we'll add in two dark oak trap doors, skip block and add another one, another brick stairs in between like that. Then we're going to add another polished uh, black stone brick slab at the back of that. On top we'll add in black concrete and this is going to extend all the way to the front. It's right underneath the cab area. Over here we'll add in a dark oak fence gate to face it towards the back. And then up inside here we'll add in two blocks tall black concrete like so. And then we're to go all the way across the side of this add in two blocks tall black concrete from smoke box all the way to the cab and should extend across like that so it's all filled in all right then we're going to go in the back of this add a dark oak fence gate it's going to face towards the back and then dark oak fence gates goes all the way across to that cylinder i'm going to add another five blocks long dark oak fence gates here then there's going to be another brick slab at the bottom of this. Now we're going to skip a block, add two dark oak trap doors. And then two dark oak fence gates. We're going to open the one in the front up like that. And then we'll go up over here, add in another brick slab here to the side. Another brick wall underneath. And then we'll add another brick slab at the bottom of this. Then we'll go up over here and add in a skeleton skull facing towards um, that slab in the middle and then we'll add in these end rods so there's going to be end rods sticking out at the edge of this and this end rod is going to go all the way across to the cab so just extend that all the way across all right so should meet up like that all right, so after we're done with that, we'll take out um, dark oak uh, fence gate. And we'll go to the side of this hump here, and we'll open that up right there. And we'll make another one right over here, in front of that hump like that. Then we'll add in um, this birch button side of this, like that. And we'll also make a banner for this doorway. So to make that banner, we'll need a loom first. And we'll need a gray banner with black dye. 
and we'll just simply make a black dye border around it. So put that inside. Black dye border around it, put that back in. And then we're gonna go across the bottom half of it. So it should be, let me try to find it. Yeah, this one right here. And we'll just place that to the side of the cap like that. So it's gonna be our doorway. Right. All right, so then we'll go right to the back, add in another brick slab right there at the last <laughs> end of the anisite. And then on top of this, we'll add in a dark oak trap door. And this dark oak trap door goes pretty much all the way across the side of this. All the way across to the, the cab right there. Like that. After we're done with that, we'll go behind this black concrete, add in another brick stairs. Upside down right there, and this is going to extend all the way to the smoke box. Like that. Then we shall add in another brick slab right on top of this fence gate here. And then behind that is going to be another brick wall. Then we'll add in five nether, I mean five dark oak fence gates. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we shall add in two nether brick slabs, go staggling down, and then a dark oak trap door. Then we'll add in two nether brick slabs behind that. And then we shall add in dark oak fence gates all the way across to the end, like so. And then next we'll add in four nether brick fences, dark oak fence gate, the side of this um, black concrete, open that up. And then we shall add in uh, to the side dark oak trap doors, two blocks here, and another one to the side in the middle, goes exactly in like that. And then at the edge here we'll add in this little railing, so that's going to be a nether brick fence top of here, skip block at another one, dark oak, uh, fence gate in between, and this is going to open up towards the outside. Then we'll add in black carpet on top of this railing, and on top of this walkway, just fill that in, black carpet, and on top of that cylinder as well at the side. Should look like this. Then we'll add in a dark oak bun next to this fence gate at this hump and we'll go to this bump here go dangling down add into blackstone buttons like that and then we shall add in another one in front of this fence gate right there all right then we'll go to near the cab and we'll add in another brick fence to line up with this hopper and we'll change this nether brick slab into an upside down stairs all right, so that's it for this half of the locomotive. So we'd copy what we did over here and build the other half. All right, so once we have both sides, it should look like this. Next, we'll go to the back and we'll add in another brick slab, this bottom corner. The other corner will be a daylight detector. And then we'll add in top section, an iron trap door to the side of this lever and a light gray carpet in front of that. Then to the side, we'll add in two blocks tall of black glass pane. And it's gonna line up with the daylight detector and we'll need to delete this trap door just to place it down. The other side, there's gonna be another one, but it's gonna be closer to the end here. So two blocks tall right there. Add a dark oak button to the right hand side and then a stone button to the left hand side. And then we'll also add in a nether brick wall right there. So back onto this side, we'll add in a dark oak button, dark oak fence gate, open that up. And we'll need a chain block. It's gonna be three blocks long over here. So one, two, and three. We'll also add in a dark oak fence gate over here, dangling from the other one, open that up. And we'll add in this polished blackstone button here. And then another brick 
fence. And this nether brick fence is going to connect the, to the one at the bottom, so just delete that trap door. Connect them all together like that. And then we'll go on to the other side. And we'll add in chain block over here. It's going to be four blocks long. One, two, three, four. And then we'll add in another one so it lines up this first hump. One, two, three, and four, like that. And then we'll need another black stone button right here close to the front. Like that. And then underneath, we'll add in another brick fence gates all the way across the side of this underneath that trap door. And we'll open the one in the front right above this fence gate or fence. Around that, we'll add in three dark oak fence gates, and then a chain block, like that. And then we'll go off to the other side. And on this side, we can add in chain block, goes all the way across the side of this, to the front. Alright, so it should look like that, and then we'll add another row of chain right above these fence gates. Right there underneath the cab. Then next we'll go to this first hump and add in a wither skeleton skull diagonal to it on this side. And let's go to the back of this. Add a dark oak fence gate right to the side of that other fence gate just on this side. After we have done that, congratulations, you're done with the first part of the build. Now all we need to do is make the tender. So to do that, let's go in the back of this. And we'll add in another brick stairs. And it's going to go right in the back of this. So let's go build on this to this side. Two blocks above the tracks like that. And we'll need an upside down one right behind it. And that will also face towards the front. So that we have these two stairs like that. And then we'll add five blocks long of black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five nether brick stairs side down the back of that and then we'll add in three nether brick slabs and then upside down stairs gonna face towards the front then five black concrete so one two three four five upside down nether brick stairs and then another brick slab and then two nether brick slabs so that makes a solid nether brick block and then we'll add in a dark oak slab with dark oak trap I mean fence gate underneath it and then underneath uh, these two sections, we'll add in nether brick slabs underneath the stairs and connect them together underneath the other stairs. Same thing on the other side. Like that. And then we'll go in the front here, added black concrete. And I'm going to make it four blocks tall, so one, two, three, four. Then we'll add in these two nether brick slabs. And then we'll add in dark oak uh, fence gates, make an L shape like this. I'm going to open the ones in the front towards the back, and the one in the back towards the front. So it's like a ladder. And then in the front of this, we'll add in three nether brick slabs. And then another brick wall. And then another brick slab. And then skip a block, add another brick wall with another brick stairs in front of that. Underneath everything, we'll add in black concrete. And then we'll go to the back. And we can add in a black carpet right there. Black concrete. And go daily inside, add black concrete, and another one on top. So it makes a sideways arrow sign. <laughs> In the middle, we can add in a smooth quartz stairs. And for the lamp, that's going to be an item frame with a white glass pane inside of it. On top, we'll add in a black concrete. And this is going to line up all the way to the other side. Like that. Okay, after we're done with that, we'll add in on top black carpet at this edge here. And then we'll skip a block, add a dark oak button, 
skip a block, add in dark oak trap door, and we'll make it five blocks long. Like that. Alright, so next we'll go in the back, add in another brick slab. Another brick stairs upside down. Another brick slab underneath that. And then over here, we'll add in a black concrete. So just extend the black concretes that we have over here by one for each of them. Then we'll add in upside down, nether brick stairs, side that, other side, do the same thing so that they're upside down facing outwards. And in the back, there's going to be another stairs upside down like that. All right, so after we've done that, we'll add in a gray concrete underneath here. Two nether brick slabs, gray concrete, two nether brick slabs, gray concrete. It's going to be the one set of wheels, and we'll add another one here, so gray concrete. Two slabs, gray concrete, two slabs, gray concrete. Then to the sides of all these gray concretes, we'll add in hoppers. And then dark oak signs to the sides of these hoppers. All right. Then after we've done that, we'll add in nether brick stairs upside down. And they're going to be facing towards the hoppers. Make a bunch of pairs in between. Should look like this. The next we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in front of this wheel and open that up towards the front. And on top we'll add in another brick fence. And then next to that we'll add in another um, brick slab. So it's going to be, I think, one block. Yeah, one block like that, and then upside down, another brick stairs, another stairs underneath, and then a slab underneath that. Like so, and this end here will add in black concrete. Um, and it's going to be two blocks wide over here, and then make this go all the way to the top. Like that. And then we'll add in, beside this, Dark oak fence gates, three blocks tall. Open them all up. And then a black carpet right here to the side, another brick slab. And then a black stained glass pane, two blocks tall alongside this ladder. Then two dark oak buttons to the side. Alright, then on top we'll add in another brick slabs, two blocks wide here. And uh, we're gonna go add another two to the side of this slab just before that stairs and then I'm going to fill in this layer here Then we'll add in another brick stairs and it's going to be one here and then the edge is going to be cornered like that alrighty so after we're done with that let's go in the back and we'll add in I guess a backwards C shape of black concrete like that, fill in the top section like that. Then we're going to go above each of these wheels uh, where we have in between the wheels and we're going to add in these nether brick stairs like that. They're going to face each other. Same thing for all of them. So you can do it like so. After we have done that we can add in another brick uh, slab and that's going to go all the way across this outer edge here so go all the way across like that to the front in the middle of this we can add in uh, this polish diorite slab right there in the middle alright so next we're going to add in a row of black concrete all the way across the bottom then we're going to skip this row and add two blocks tall black concrete all the way across. Alright. Then so next we'll add in a black concrete. Two blocks to the back here. And go in the front add another two here. Alright. Then the inside of this we'll um, add in black concrete in this indent. Then we'll add in the letters later. Also extend this indent here in the back. 
Okay. So next up in this corner, we'll add in a wither skeleton skull right there. And then three blocks tall of these black glass panes like that. Then we can also add in black carpet. So go over here, skip two blocks at black carpet. Goes all the way across around the edge. And then the space in between we'll add in black concrete. Then we'll add in dark oak button beside this. Skip a block at another one, skip a block at another one, and another one right there. These are supposed to be like the rivets. And we'll add in some more of these rivets. So for this detail, I'm gonna change this up a little bit. For this detail, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in six dark oak buttons from the front corner. So one, two, three, four, five, and six like that. After that, we're gonna skip this row. And we're gonna go down the up and then add in two. So skip this row, down the up, add in two. And then dialing up, add another two. So they should look like this. This pattern here, the line, kind of goes diagonal. And then we'll add in the vertical columns. So go right up here, skip a block, and then add dark oak buttons. Skip block, dark oak buttons, and goes all the way across. And we're going to keep on doing this pattern till we reach the back. All right, the back like that. Very good. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna copy what we did on this side and build the other half. Once we have both halves of the tender, we'll add in the ladder here on the left. Delete this carpet, and then make an L shape around. Dark oak fence gates. And also fill in, actually, we need to add in the letter here, so that's gonna be smooth quartz stairs. Upside down, and another one right side up, facing this way. Then we can add in the rest of these dark oak fence gates, open them up. Another one facing each other like that. The other side will add in some rivets, so that's going to be dark oak buttons. Do them like that. Black carpet right there at the bottom. Then onto um, the side here at the bottom, we'll add in these three black concrete blocks right here. So one, two, and three. While the other side, we're just going to have one. And then nether brick slabs on either side of that. All right, so now we can add in the lettering. So let's make the one on this side. So take out smooth quartz stairs. We're gonna make uh, upside down, and then two L's. Actually, three L's. So one, two, three. And then upside down. That right side up. Backwards L, and then black concrete. So you got this pattern. Then we'll add in upside down stairs, then two back to back stairs, and then upside down stairs, and then right side up L. So it looks like this. And we'll do the same pattern, just the other way around. So on this side, side down, and then three L's. Backwards upside down L, and then backwards L, black concrete. Upside down, L, then back to back, and then upside down, and then right side up, L. So we got that nice Southern Pacific writing here on the side, and I know there's also another variant of the AC-12. They have like, it says Southern Pacific lines. All right, so next let's go on the bottom. And I forgot to do this earlier, but we're gonna do it now. We'll add in dark oak fence gates. are gonna face towards the hoppers. There in the middle, another one here in the back. Do the same thing on the other side. And I just deleted one of the ties, great. The one in the front doesn't have it because this thing's in the way. All right, next on top, we'll add in two nether brick walls here. And then the other side, we'll add in two nether brick stairs and then two nether brick walls like that. All right, so once you have done that, that is pretty much it on how to make the super build, the AC-12 from Southern Pacific in Minecraft. And thanks a lot to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build, because if he didn't commission it, this probably won't be possible for quite a long time. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I will see you guys in the next one.